Welcome back. It is Wednesday, which means we get to visit with our friend Michael Babcock at TMZ to get the scoop on today's hottest stories. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Kelly and Jeremy. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, is Brittany back in the news? Yeah, Brittany is back in the news. Uh, this is, uh, I think this is a, a, a pretty substantial moment for the whole Free Britney movement. Uh, of course, there have been all, you know, there have been so many fans that have been worried about Britney Spears and uh, feeling like she, she has not been uh, properly treated by even her own family, specifically her father, who is her conservator, who really makes all of the decisions uh, in her life. So, um, you know, a lot of talk, a lot of people have wanted to get Jamie Spears out of uh, Britney's life for a long time. Then there's that, um, there's that big New York Times documentary that examines how Britney has been treated by the press and by her dad. Um, and the Free Britney movement only got bigger. Well, now it has even uh, taken another step up because you have two powerful congressmen who have now uh, gone on the record, uh, Kelly and Jeremy, as saying, uh, and that's Congressman uh, Matt Gates and uh, Congressman Jim Jordan uh, from Ohio, uh, has gone on the record saying that he wants uh, the House Judiciary Committee to actually hold a hearing to examine conservatorships uh, as a whole, but specifically Britney Spears' conservatorship. They actually want to have a hearing uh, at the Capitol about Britney Spears. Wow. So, That's incredible. Right. So, right, so look, I, I, there have been people who have speculated that, uh, you know, uh, that they don't have pure motivation here, that they are actually just trying to stall. Uh, other things from happening kind of stop the Biden agenda from rolling along. Who knows? But they actually have said that they want to have this hearing now. Now, uh, Jamie Spears, Britney's dad's lawyer, is uh, answering back and is basically saying nothing is going wrong. There is nothing, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong untoward. There's nothing uh, that shouldn't be happening that is happening with the conservatorship. He said for 13 years, Jamie Spears has been there, has worked with Britney and her people to make sure the best financial decisions are made for Britney. They say not once has Britney Spears ever tried to get out of the conservatorship, not once in 13 years. So they say there's nothing wrong. And basically, these two congressmen should mind their own business. You don't have to have any hearings on, I'm torn. on the I, yeah. I'm torn. I like Matt Gates. Here's the deal, though. Uh, in our world, I think there's more pressing issues. I, I understand yeah. Brittany might need some help, but seriously, we got other things going on. Right. I think that's that's been the point of a lot of people, Kelly, that there are other pressing things that don't just affect one celebrity, but right. affect a whole bunch of people. Right. So, Michael exactly. Babcock, yeah. did I ever tell you my Britney Spears doll story? Did I ever tell you that? No, I'm, I'm dying to hear <laughs> it. Do you want to hear this? Um, yes. In 1999, I got the best gag gift ever from one of my friends. She got me the Hit Me Baby One More Time Britney Spears Barbie doll. <laughs> I still have that Barbie doll in the box in mint condition. It's probably worth three hundred thousand awesome. dollars, Jeremy. I ain't never opened it. I saved it. She's got the little pink pom poms in her hair. Oh, it's probably worth a lot of money, it Jeremy. Is. I'm saving it. I'm gonna text it to her because you know I'm her best friend. I'm like, yeah. how much you give me for this? And hashtag truth, hashtag free Britney. I love that, and I've been using that hashtag truth, hashtag free Britney now too. <laughs> Jeremy, tell me what she says when she answers. Okay. I, I'll give you the exclusive, Michael. Okay. I'll give you the exclusive. Okay. <laughs> I've got a sheer doll. Is that worth anything? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry, we digress. We digress. Yeah, yeah. So, right. So that's the Britney Spears story. Now, now there's a uh, there's an update in the Lady Gaga story. So do you guys remember that? that mm. Sadly, Lady Gaga's dogs were stolen in Los Angeles. Uh, she was actually in Rome filming something, but. Her dog walker was uh, in Hollywood walking her two French, uh, three French bulldogs, excuse me, when somebody in a car pulled up, two men hopped out, they grabbed the dogs, and they shot the dog walker. Thankfully, miraculously, he took a bullet to his chest, but is going to be okay. Lady Gaga has gotten the dogs back. Uh, a good Samaritan found the dogs tied to a pole in the street in Los Angeles. <gasps> so dogs are back unharmed. Great news. Yeah. Still, the police now, not only are they they're dealing with a dog napping, but they're dealing with, uh, you know, at best an aggravated assault uh, or an attempted murder case mm -hmm. here because, again, these guys shot somebody in the chest with a gun. So uh, police now hack, you know, and this is through the law enforcement sources we've spoken with, the police actually have a working theory. And they have seen other cases like this uh, around L.A., not involving celebrities, but similar cases. There have been gang initiations where uh, the gangs have uh, essentially required people wanting to get into their gang to go and steal dogs, 
and sometimes do violence on the people that are walking the dogs, the dog owners or the dog walkers. So the police actually believe that that could have been the case here. So not that this was uh, Lady Gaga being targeted because she's a big celebrity. No, it would have been completely random and actually could have been a gang initiation. So that's the one update. The second update is Lady Gaga had promised this $500,000 reward for anybody, no questions asked, who brought these dogs back. Well, this lady found the dogs, got them to the police station, and because of that, Lady Gaga got her dogs back. But that woman has not yet received the $500,000. That's not because Lady Gaga doesn't want to pay. But again, we were told law enforcement sources that, uh, that the police have asked Lady Gaga to not pay this woman because they have not yet thoroughly cleared her, and they want to make sure... They don't suspect that she had something to do with right. the, uh, the dog uh, napping, but uh, they, they just want to make sure that she doesn't. And they have asked Lady Gaga to please not pay this woman before they can clear her. So those are the two uh, updates on the Lady Gaga yeah. case. Yeah. Well, that kind of makes sense. I mean, not that they're blaming her. No, they need to find the solution first right. before they give. I think Gaga will, right. will fess up and give the money. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad the dogs are okay, but man, I, I guess people are probably going to second guess being a dog walker from celebrities. Yeah, these right. Days, you you got to ask yourself, is it, is it worth it if you're going to yeah. get shot in the chest? It, That's they meant to kill him. It sounds like that was no just a wounding. Yeah, kind of I, thing. I mean, I took, for me, Kelly, the only reason you shot shoot somebody in the chest yeah. is if you want to kill him. That is so it. sad. Yeah. Yeah, and you said so that. Scary. Now, correct me, Michael. Just was that he was shot in L.A. or New York? In L. In L. In L. Okay. Yeah, this all took yeah, place in L.A. LA. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Um, yeah. The final story, too, Michael Babcock, is um, I'm not a huge fan of Tom Brady or Gronk um, because, you know, they were in the Patriots for so long. And, you know, know. Here, in, here, know. In, here in Missouri, you know, we just, and, you know. Yeah, and I know what happened this year. I know. I'm yeah. not going to say. I won't, I won't yeah. even talk about the, the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we saved this one for last. Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay. Well, so, so, so people have been wondering, Rob Gronkowski, obviously, he retired once already. He came back to the Bucks. We know they win this year. So the question has been, is Gronk going to just hang him up again? You know, he came back one year, won the Super Bowl. I actually had the opportunity to talk with him, and uh, he told me that, yes, he's absolutely coming back. He felt great last year, still feels great, body feels uh, strong. So he's going to be coming back. So I guess for all the football fans out there, you have one of the greatest tight ends who, uh, at least for one more season, we will get to watch. But I, I am mad at the I don't get it, though. I don't well, get it. Well, I mean, you know, who doesn't want to win and uh, play but the game and win? Kelly, though, wouldn't you want to go out on top? Well, uh, yeah, I get that, too. I guess I'm just saying Tom what, and him both way, need to retire. But, yeah. But the way, you know what? The way, the way he thinks, Jeremy, because he's such a competitor, is that he will go out on top because they will win again this year. Yeah. And he'll have now five Super Bowls if he wins this year. So I think they feel very confident that they can repeat which is very hard to do. Yeah, uh, Michael, Michael, Michael you're getting uh -huh. me fired up this morning. Ah. You're just getting me fired up. <laughs> yeah, hey, Michael, now I, I got to deal with him the rest of the show. I, was rooting, I love Patrick Mahomes. I was rooting for the Chiefs in yeah. that game. Just, yeah. just I'm going to go on the record as saying that. But. My, my, yeah, my yeah. ideal football season next season is that the Chiefs and the Buccaneers go back to the bowl oh, and the yeah. Chiefs, Chiefs win. win. Yeah. That, that would be a great yeah. story. Yeah. That would Get be some good. Yeah. Yeah, Thank I you, Michael. Yeah, Michael. Our okay, love bye, to your guys. cats and yes, Jenny. Uh, tell everybody hello. See you next week. Okay, you can get week. TMZ weekdays at 5 p.m. and TMZ Live weeknights at 12.30 a.m. And coming up, we're going to play Name That Tune, but our nests oh, are out of the oven. And they smell good. And by the way, Kelly, they look good. I have to go look put your quiche them. in, though. We have oh, to yeah, put we your quiche, put back, quiche in. back in. Yep. We're putting the quiche in, guys. Okay. Those look great. Oh, oh look wow. They look beautiful. They do. Okay, let me raise this rack up.